Last spring, there was a New Republic article, or two New Republic articles, about George Allen making a lot of allegations about him. They asked me to comment on that. I said, that's not relevant to what I'm trying to do. The Macaque incident occurred. They asked me to comment on that. What were my views of George Allen? I said, I'm not going to comment on that. I will comment on the fact he attacked one of my uh, members of my campaign staff, but the rest of it, I'm not commenting on it. There was a question regarding his heritage during the debates. They asked me to comment on that. I refused. I passed on all of these. While the Allen campaign has made smear tactics the centerpiece of their entire effort. Yeah. Yeah. Now, why? why have they done that? Because George Allen, George Allen has nothing to report. He has been wrong on foreign policy. He is one of the reasons that we are bogged down right now in a nightmare in Iraq. He's been a key figure in selling out the average American worker in order to protect the interests of the powerful who have always paid his way. He is a no-brainer. And by attacking my career and my ethics in this way, if anyone has any doubts from other indicators, he has now shown his true character. Yeah. Yeah. Allen's got some campaign uh, people at the top who are famous for this kind of stuff. Um, but let's never forget the old adage: if you want to, you know, if you want to find accountability for this, remember that the fish rots <laughs> from the head down. <laughs> it's time for all of us to say that our government should no longer be in the hands of a group of unprincipled, small-minded, power-hungry character assassins. Yeah. Yeah.